Those of you who followed my channel a while now know I don't do unboxing or unpacking videos, but today I've received something I'm really excited about. As you can see, it's from Chile, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, I don't want to be the boy who cried wolf. As I've said, I'm really excited about a great many things in the past, but this time it's different. Now, let's get it open. Pretty hefty. And this is it. Now, if you've ever done these wood kits before, you know it consists of stamped pieces of wood that you push out. And what you want to do is to join them by pairing numbers. So, for example, the one here will slot with the one here. So let me put it together. And here's the complete model. <laughs> now I'm kidding, of course. Now these were very clever models for children, but a more adult version is what we're looking at today. I'll probably say a lot of good things, so let me say at the outset that this isn't a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money, and I paid the painful shipping too. Now, Wonder Artistic Models has many genera, but top of the list has to be this 1 to 20th scale Deluxe Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, it comes with a nice little booklet with information on T Rex. And it's bilingual, so it's nice. It covers a few aspects of the animal, even some quite technical stuff. The instructions are bilingual in English and Spanish. Now just the feel of the instruction sheet shows quality. They're color-coded, so you see at a glance where the English is at, in blue so useful to learning languages. For example, I've now just learned that templates is plantillas. The instructions are in very good English, so you have no problems following them. You need to refer to this periodically, especially for the tricky parts. So it's all very well organized. We have a stack of templates, holding a total of 191 pieces. Now first, the base, which comes off easily. Then these two discs. Which you will use to help when applying pressure or pressing pieces together. Very useful. You also have extras of pieces in case you break them. Here it tells you where the left foot goes and then the right. I like idiot-proof things. Now these plates are ordered from A to G. And as you can see, these aren't just slot-on-slot -slot collections like the old-style kits. So it's going to be a lot more challenging, but also a lot more fun. Now here, for example, you see G25. So that tells you this attaches to a piece 25 on plate G, which is here. And if we look here, you can see that one here goes to one here. And generally, they're positioned so that the orientation makes sense. I can see that 2 here goes with 2 here. And here also, we see this whole 3. So this 3 here is going to key into that. And 
L means left, then R means right. As you can see, these discs are very useful and you use them often. So we've got this now. Next, we're doing the legs here. I just love the way they've built up the volume of the bone. Then the feet, the hips, and then these pairs of ribs go onto the axial skeleton. Now we're attaching the leg to the hip. So now we have the pelvic girdle and the lower limbs on the axial skeleton. Now attaching it to the base. And finishing off the ribs. So promising, you can already see things shaping up. So that's what we have so far. Now really interesting is the gastral basket. And when you finish, you'll have to manipulate different parts to create arches. And in the end, this is what you'll get. Very nice, very interesting way to get the arch looking just right. Uh, I'll probably adjust more later on. And next we take care of the distal tail. Finish off with some bracketing pieces. that supposed cranial skeleton done. Now the head is really fun to build. Um, it requires various bends and tensioning to keep the parts together. Creating three-dimensional curved aspects. the jaw articulation. And just look at these sclerotic rings. The maxilla. You flare it out. You can see the three-dimensionality of the skull from the front. So there's the completed model, and I can't tell you how happy I am with it. It looks amazing from any angle. I've long wished there was an adult version of the wood kits I loved as a child, and this is it. I'm grateful to these old-time kits for what they've added to my childhood interest of dinosaurs, but as an adult learner, you can see how the Wham one now does that. The head articulates from side to side. The jaw opens, and I expected it to be fiddly, but, but it's very smooth and very secure. Then down here in the tail, it articulates at three points. Here, here, and here. Now, it's a very limited sideways movement, as should be the case for the tetanure. 
and then the anatomy. Now here the characteristic B shape of the lateral temporal fenestra, the mandibular fenestra, even the serangular fenestra here. The three-dimensionality of the orbit, which we sometimes don't realize in a picture that's on a flat page. The antorbital fenestra, the premaxillary fenestra. Of course, being a wood kit with flat pieces, there'll be limits to shapes and proportion, but look at the three-dimensionality created here. I'm especially delighted they've even captured the sclerotic rings. That's a level of detail I'd never expect in a kit like this. Are the bonuses? Are the cervical ribs? The scapula? Now just look at the relative proportions of the T-Rex fingers here. The scapula coracoid. The gastralia. I want to look like floating ribs to me. And speaking of that, even the shape of the ribs are accurate. Now I'll probably need to adjust all these again. Now some of them look a bit off, but more due to my own uh, uh, incompetence than anything else. And then here I just love the way they've been able to build up the volume of the leg bones. The femur, the tibia as well. And just look at that fibula coming down here. We have the three weight-bearing claws, the dew claw, then this thing here. You see this that looks like a claw? Well, did they make a mistake? Well, if any one of you knows what this is, comment. It will be fun to just get a little quiz going. Uh, no prizes though. And even the simple thing like the tail, uh, the form of the structures with the wood burnt look just looks very classy to me. Really like a work of art and how they make the pubis and ischium converge like this. And of course, creating a very clever cut to give you some flexibility to create this curvature here in the ilium. Just really clever engineering. Now this thing is truly impressive. At 63 centimeters or 24.8 inches long, and 20 centimeters or 7.9 inches tall. It's about 1 to 20 of scale. Uh, with this pose, every angle looks good. Now I've gushed about so many good things, I'll repeat, this isn't a sponsored video. They didn't even know I was going to do this. And that's the other thing. Customer service is excellent, even if you're an anonymous, faceless customer. And for size comparison, uh, here's the PNSO 1 to 35 Wilson. Then of course the recent Nanmu Buck T-Rex. And just for fun, the Nanmu Watchman Walking Brachiosaurus. So that's it for this review. Now Wonder Artistic Models has created a fun, engaging, educational, and scientifically up-to-date work of art. They have many other animals, and if you love anatomy, you'll appreciate their attention to detail. For example, in the Carnotaurus, you can see the arm and finger proportions, which I'm really picky about, and something often done wrong even in modern models. Now, Stegosaurus has the more modern Sophie form, and while I'm not interested in members, this is so good I would have gotten it if it could have fit into the shipping charges. I'll just look at these two awesome poses you can achieve with this. They even have a Stagoros, of course being proudly Chilean, which was described just last year and doesn't even have a regular model. Now the owner Simon is patient in answering all questions on products or assembly, and I really like supporting worthy artists and passion projects like this. It takes a unique combination of a love of dinosaurs plus the knowledge of wood crafting to create these. So check them out with the details below. Now I might do a separate walkthrough video at some point, but meanwhile, take care my friends, and I'll see you soon in the next video.